Hello YouTube, we're back with some more mail and it's Monday, so you know what that means. Time to open some packages. Only three have uh, accumulated over the last week of slowed down and tried to be more selective. You want to open that one? Oh. We tried to get mom in this because there's three packages. We could do each one. Mom has other plans. Okay, why don't I do you that? Should probably. Yeah, scare me there. I think I'm doing it right. Totally fine. Okay. There you go, young lady. Show the nice people at home what you got. Bam. That's it. You need me to choppy choppy again? I see some slabs. That's a good sign. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of tape. Calm down. I'm going to let you open it. Tape difficulties. Normally be technical difficulties, but it's tape difficulties. Right. Um, I think these are some Oakland or some uh, Kansas City A's. Ooh. If you spend any time on eBay looking at cards, you definitely know this uh, account. Ed Raccoon. It. Uh, Ed Raccoon. <laughs> raccoon seems to be an eight. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Check it out. 1963 Tops Kansas City A's. Near Mint 8. And she didn't even try, but there are two. Oh. <laughs> Bob Del Greco, also with the KC Athletics. Also a Near Mint 8. Both pretty uh, pretty cheap pickups for 60s cards in, in good condition. Ready for a lot of noise. I think it would be difficult for me to work at a place like PSA because uh, I wouldn't say the card's perfect. I mean, there's a little bit of age to it, but it's pretty good shape. I assume they have specific standards. They like look at them under magnifying glasses, maybe like a UV light and something like that. But two really, really good shaped cards uh, from a local team that's, gosh, almost 60 years ago. I know. Okay. I will open this little guy. This one comes to us uh, from Randy in Arizona. I'll pop those later. What, oh, what did we get for Randy? Randy says thanks. And we got ourselves ah, Jim Marsalis, a Kansas City Chiefs cornerback. I like these cards. Got a couple others from this set. It's in really good shape. If I remember correctly, this is one that he had uh, a very limited um, description on the eBay listing, and I think that's why a lot of people didn't see it. Now this is a crazy high dollar card, but you know, it is in remarkably good shape for its age. And uh, at least it's a, it's a player that I knew from back in the day. I do see a little bit of maybe fraying or something on the side of that that I didn't notice before, but still in really good shape. See them right there? Yeah. So that would definitely take it down a notch or two, but the centering is pretty decent. A little offset, letter left to right. All right, you ready for this one? Can I open that one? You want to cut it? Oh, like... Yeah, 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 I'm open, cutting it so that you can open it. Yeah. We do the back and forth thing. It's an odd number that you open the extra one. Bubble wrap fun. More bubble Looks wrap. like another slab to me. You know, need some help there. That's some pretty cheap tape. I might be able to tear through that one. How is everybody? You doing okay? Shaw Racing Collects, you're always so. Hope everybody's having a great week. I love that about you. This is a, like the ah. entire team. Kansas the entire City's, team. The Kansas City Athletics. Correct. Mm. Check it out. Got them all. Woot woot. What year is that? Um, 
This seems 1962. Yeah, these are 63, so it's very possible that these guys are were on the team then too. This is a seven. It's a seven, so not quite as good as the other ones, but uh, it looks in good condition. Yeah, man. It seems fine. That's interesting. It's this 1961 on the back. I guess the 61 team for the 62 set. Probably about as good a picture as you're going to get back then. Can't really make out a whole lot of faces. But uh, it does have pitching records on the back. And bubble wrap. This is the other one, but this is the bubble wrap that came This guy's a pitcher. Uh, but he is not. Some of no, he's on there. popped yeah. all these. Cool. He is in this picture somewhere. I'm not sure where though. You can tell someone was not careful with this because almost all of these are already popped. Well, yeah, or you know, maybe it's reused, but got three new slabs and one other one that will go into a uh, top holder. So nice little mail day. Who cut it? Any, uh, any th probably me. Anything you want to say? Um, bow wrap's amazing. True. Lesson for today is bubble wrap is amazing, but I'm sure you all already knew that. All right. Thanks, Three, guys. Three, two, one.